Good day everyone! It's me again, Ma'am Lara. The topic for today is about speed, distance, and time. Objectives Calculate speed, distance, and time. Define speed, distance, and time. Tell the unit of measure used for speed, distance, and time. Derive a formula in calculating for the speed, distance, and time. Solve for speed, distance, and time. Due to the new normal situation brought by the pandemic, we commonly hear the words social distancing or physical distancing. This means we keep a distance of at least 1 meter from each other and avoid spending time in crowded places or in group. Aside from wearing face masks, face shield, and washing hands, the minimum safety protocol standards imposed by the Interagency Task Force or IATF to limit the speed of spread of COVID-19 transmission. Here are some units of measurement that we are going to use later in our lesson. The units of measurement of distance are kilometer, meter, centimeter, millimeter. The units of measurement of time are hour, minute, second. The units of measurement of speed are kilometer per hour, minute per second, centimeter per second, millimeter per second. Tayong mga Filipino ay sabik at gustong-gusto na natin ang pagta-travel sa iba't ibang lugar. But for the meantime, let us enjoy our home life, bonding muna with family, and just recall the places we have traveled before this pandemic. What is the most far away place you have been to? Do you know how far is it? There is an instrument on a vehicle's dashboard indicating its speed. It is called speedometer or speed meter. Let's have the meaning of speed, distance, and time. Speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Gaano kabilis? Example, 55 kilometers per hour. Speed can be thought of as rate by which an object covers distance. Distance is the total length between two positions. Example, distance of Bulacan to Baguio in kilometers. Time. Time is the quantity measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. Example, 4 hours. Now, let's try to calculate speed distance and time. I have here a situation. We had a family vacation in Baguio. My father drove our van from city of Malolos to Baguio City at an average speed of 55 kilometers per hour. For a total of 4 hours, how far did we travel? Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we were asked about the distance they traveled. Given information speed of 55 km per hour and time of 4 hours. Para madali tayo makapag-solve, identify muna natin ang mga value for distance, speed, and time. Kapag okay na, malalaman natin kung ano ang value na nawawala. So, puputa tayo dito sa magic triangle. Dito sa magic triangle, makikita natin at malalaman ang mga formula. The first one is the distance. Kapag distance ang nawawala, tatakpan natin siya. So, distance equals speed times time. Kapag naman speed ang nawawala, tatakpan natin ang speed. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Last one is time. Kapag time ang nawawala, tatakpan natin siya. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. Now, let's solve for distance. So, distance is equal to speed times time. Then, change natin yung value for speed at saka time. Speed is equal to 55 kilometers per hour. Then, time is 4 hours. So, dahil infraction siya, i-over 1 natin si 4. 
Then multiply 55 kilometers times 4 hours is equal to 220 kilometer hour. Then hour times 1 is hour. So hour divided by hour is 1. So cancel natin siya. Dahil equals, equals na siya sa 1. Multiply natin yung 1 by 220. So the answer is 220 kilometers. So the distance is equal to 220 kilometers. Next example. Calculate the distance that you will travel if you will drive for 3 and a half hours at 75 kilometers per hour. Let's identify the value for distance, speed, and time. So distance is missing. Speed is 75 kilometers per hour. Time is 3.5 or 3.5 hours. So distance equals speed times time. Let's change the value for speed which is 75 kilometers per hour. Sa time naman ay 3.5 or 3.5 hours. So over 1 natin si 3.5. Then multiply 75 kilometers times 3.5 hours is equal to 262.5 kilometers hours. Then hour times 1 is hour. Hour divided by hour is 1. 1 times 262.5 kilometers is equal to 262.5 kilometers. So our distance is equal to 262.5 kilometers. Next example, a car travels 120 kilometers in 2 hours. Find the speed of the car. So identify the value for distance, speed, and time. Distance is equal to 120 kilometers. Speed is missing. Time is 2 hours. So let's find the value for speed. So our formula is speed equals distance divided by time. So our distance is 120 kilometers over time which is 2 hours so 120 kilometers divided by 2 hours is equal to 60 kilometers per hour so dinivide lang natin yung 120 by 2 which is 60 and then copy lang natin yung mga unit of measurement so our speed is equal to 60 kilometers per hour so pwede din natin siyang isulad ng ganito Next example, find the speed when distance is 304 kilometers and time is 4 hours. So let's identify the DST or distance, speed, time. So distance is equal to 304 kilometers, speed is missing, time is 4 hours. Again, speed is equal to distance divided by time. So distance is equal to 304 kilometers over time which is 4 hours. So 304 divided by 4 is equal to 76 kilometers per hour. So our speed is equal to 76 kilometers per hour. Next example. Samuel can type 975 words in 25 minutes. Calculate his typing speed in words per minute and words per hour. So we need to calculate his typing speed in words per minute. So our formula is typing speed is equal to number of words over time. So 975 words over time which is 25 minutes. So ibig sabihin kaya ni Samuel mag-type ng 975 words in just 25 minutes. So 975 divided by 25 is 39. So ibig sabihin kaya mag-type ni Samuel ng 39 words in just a minute. So next is to calculate his speed in words per 
hour. So, ilang minutes ba mayroon sa isang oras? Correct. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, ang gagawin lang natin is 39 words times 60 minutes para makuha natin ang sagot. So, the answer is 2,340 words per hour. So, ibig sabihin, kayang mag-type ni Samuel ng 2,340 words in just one hour. Next example. A bus traveled 252 kilometers at 72 kilometers per hour. How long does it travel? So, our distance is equal to 252 kilometers. Speed is 72 kilometers per hour. And then, time is missing. The formula for finding time is distance divided by speed. So, our distance is equal to 252 kilometers. Speed is 72 kilometers per hour. So, 252 divided by 72 is equal to 3.5. Kilometer divided by kilometer is 1. Then, matitira na lang si hours. So, our time is equal to 3.5 hours. So, the bus traveled for 3.5 hours. But how long does it take to travel 180 kilometers at 45 kilometers per hour? So, our distance is 180 kilometers. Speed is 45 kilometers per hour. Time is missing. So, time is equal to distance divided by speed. So, this formula is same with this. So, ang ginawa ko, si speed, ni-reciprocal ko siya, and then, multiply. So, reciprocal, it means kung ano yung nasa denominator, mapupunta sa numerator. Kung ano yung nasa numerator, mapupunta sa denominator. So, let's have the value for distance is 180 kilometers. So, distance is equal to 180 kilometers over 1 times hour over 45 kilometers. So, 180 kilometers times hour is 180 kilometers hour over 1 times 45 kilometers is 45 kilometers. So, pinapakita ko sa inyo kung paano nawawala yung mga unit of measurement. So, 180 divided by 45 is 4. Kilometer divided by kilometer is 1. And then, matitira si hours. So, it takes 4 hours to travel 180 kilometers. Let's have an activity. Activity number 1, directions. Complete the table below. Write your answer inside the table. Number 1, find the distance where speed is equal to 75 kilometers per hour. Time is 3.5 hours. Correct. The answer is 262.5 kilometers. Number 2, find speed where time is 20 seconds. Distance is 200 meters. Correct. The answer is 10 meters per second. Number three, find time where speed is 65 kilometers per hour. Distance is 390 kilometers. Correct. The answer is six hours. Number four, find speed where time is 5.5 hours and distance is 473 kilometers. Correct. The answer is 86 kilometers per hour. Last, find distance where speed is equal to 9.3 meters per second. Time is 86 seconds. Correct. The answer is 799.8 meters. Very good. TVT2, calculate the speed, distance, and time. If it takes 4 hours to drive a distance of 180 kilometers, calculate its speed. Correct. The answer is 45 kilometers per hour. A 
train travels with a constant speed of 40 miles per hour. How long will it take to travel a distance of 40 miles? Correct. The answer is 1 hour. An airplane flies with a constant speed of 800 kilometers per hour. How far can it travel in 3.5 hours? Correct. The answer is 2,800 kilometers. Elmer rides on his bike with a speed of 6 kilometers per hour. How long will it take to travel a distance of 15 kilometers? Correct. The answer is 2.5 hours. A boy walks a distance of 8 kilometers in 2 hours. Calculate his speed. Correct. The answer is 4 kilometers per hour. Very good. Always remember, add love, subtract hate, multiply success, prepare to divide, and conquer. Enjoy math, enjoy life! God bless and stay safe. See you on my next video. Bye!